Dallas, and it's finally time. The game to end all games. That's right, the championship final between the comeback kids of South Carolina and the ultimate underdog, Mississippi State. This will be the third matchup between these two teams this season. The first happened in SEC conference play, the second in the SEC tournament final. South Carolina took both of those games, but as we all know, it's very difficult in any sport to beat 18 three times in one season. Familiarity can become a very dangerous weapon. For, for what Mississippi State has done over the past five games, you know, they're much different than they were, you know, that sixth game in which we played them in the SEC Tournament Championship. Um, the intangible part of it is it's really hard to get our players to focus in on it. You know, they're playing at, a, at an all-time high. You know, personally, I'd rather be playing somebody else, just to be honest. I mean, they know me better, you know, they know us better than anybody. You know, obviously, we, we feel like we know them. Um, but I'm really proud that we have two Southeastern Conference schools in the championship of our sport, and that's really special. But The player matchup to definitely watch out for tomorrow is that of the point guard position between South Carolina's Bianca Cuevas-Moore and Mississippi State's hometown hero, Morgan William. William has a smooth shot, and definitely one that we saw last night whenever Mississippi State took down powerhouse UConn. And this morning in the press conferences, head coach Don Staley said that it's all going to be about how Cuevas Moore can stay engaged and make it difficult for William. She can shoot, she can play, and she's going to do both, but how she does it is the key. We can decrease the amount of times that um, those plays are easy plays. Um, I think it works in our favor, but if she's in a groove and she's playing as she's played over the past five games, it's going to be a long night for us. Now on the flip side, it's going to be important for Mississippi State to take Asia Wilson off her game. Wilson played some of the best ball she's played all season in these two teams' first matchup. Wilson dropped 26 points and grew to a 64-61 win for the Gamecocks. But this time she'll have to do it without senior Elena Coates to back her up. She's physical. Um, you know, she's not going to stop working. Uh, she's a constant uh, worker and just a competitor and uh, she wants to be in the moment she wants the big shot but if she doesn't take it she's going to go clean it up tomorrow's matchup starts at 5 p.m central time right here at the american airlines center be sure to keep a tune in to swish appeal for your up close and personal look at all the final four action reporting from dallas nicole five